hard. It was uh, dropping bowling balls out of my second story bedroom window into televisions and running over televisions with his pickup truck and, uh, you know, mowing newspaper in the front yard uh, for a performance piece. So, you know, growing up under the influence of a, uh, an artist uh, of his magnitude, it's, uh, it's a little bit of a shadow over what you do. So, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't trade my upbringing for anything. Buzz Blair is a famous artist who created male art and train art in the 1970s. My influences were mainly pop culture, magazines, and literature. I was reading a lot of novels at the time as a student in high school, so I was vacillating between being a painter or a poet. At that time, uh, there was uh, pop art was just coming into play and we went through the uh, abstract expressionist phase of, uh, of the 50s, so that was the current art scene while I was a student there at Henderson. Uh, how I got into art was uh, I started, uh, I took some classes in uh, Monroe, Louisiana when I was going to school there, and then when I moved to Gurdon and uh, in 59, they didn't offer it art classes, but then when I started to Henderson, after I graduated from high school, I took a bunch of art classes and, and really liked them. He also had, had the railroad job um, at that time, but he had to uh, quit the, um, quit going to Henderson and uh, because the railroad didn't want him going to school and working for them also. Because of my occupation as a trainman on the railroad and seeing all the, uh, the uh, chalk marks uh, and uh, the uh, current, uh, what they call moniker at that time of the hobos chalking their destination on the rail cars and, and sand houses and water tanks and all through the Depression era. And, uh, and then the, the trainmen and switchmen and clerks, a lot of them indulged in, the, in uh, mark, marking up on the cars and utilizing the vast expanding network of the railroad to kind of announce their presence. So uh, I was influenced by seeing this chalk marks on the rail cars or, or uh, paint stick drawings uh, that uh, trainmen and hobos did on the cars to kind of, it just kind of like personalized each individual car, made it human and not just a, a static, uh, Subsequently, I discovered the mail art network shortly after I'd started doing that by, re by reading these two uh, uh, consecutive issues of Rolling Stone magazine talking about these artists that employed the mail system as a networking connection, which was global. So, I mean, I thought my use of the railroad network in the, in the North American context of cars going all, all over, and then a global network of mail that uh, the uh, mail art people had been using, I thought there was similar strategy there for finding a, another outlet for art exposure other than gallery scenes. Um. I always was happy for him to pursue it, you know, in any way that, that he wanted to. For more information on Buzz Blur and to see more of his art, visit BabylonFalling.com.